Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Danmachi season 3 episode number 2. Okay, um, this I have to say like this season, like this anime season, there are a lot of animes coming out which I am extremely fond of. Uh, for example, Danmachi season 3, uh, Mahoka and Golden Kamui and also Higurashi. Like uh, there are like so many animes which I am like a lot, like I've, I'm fond of uh, and like it has kind of like a special place in my heart especially Danmachi and Golden Kamui and uh, like uh, and also Higurashi because uh, like these are something that I have like uh, extremely fond memories of when I was uh, like watching them for the first time and I'm extremely glad that I'm like uh, reacting to them as well a few of them uh, and uh, yeah so like I'm quite excited for like this season uh, like all of the show shows this season Okay, uh, for the like uh, for episode one, we got to saw like a new character being introduced. It was uh, uh, I think her name was Wiene. They named her, mm, and uh, now there's like a conflict going on between like there's a thing in Danmachi where is like there is a what can I say, uh, kind of a discrimination bec between like uh, monsters and uh, <coughs> uh, humans. Obviously, because monsters are like this kind of. Uh, mindless type of uh, beings which uh, attack humans on sight so obviously like uh, humans do not uh, like monsters at all and I think there are a lot of adventures and a lot of people as well who has been affected by monsters for example uh, one of the loved, one, loved ones were uh, being killed or things like that and so there's like this kind of a huge what can I say an uh, animosity or like uh, like some like uh, an antagonistic behavior between these two obviously monsters are like uh, like as far as I've seen they are like mindless kind of things like they attack people uh, without any like uh, what can I say uh, thought like they're kind of mindless killing machines as far as like we have seen so seeing a person like a monster which has ability to, for thought uh, Wiener, like for example Wiener uh, is like uh, what can I say a completely new thing to them so like they're like obviously not able to like forget uh, the things that they have like faced but obviously like Bell is someone who forgives people like he forgave Lily uh, previously for even for the betrayal and he is like a person with a kind heart so <coughs> He is like uh, looking uh, for like what can I say looking at the human part of the monsters and uh, Wiene has it plenty so he has decided to take her under his protection. So let's see what happens what conflict Bell faces with the other adventurers and let's get started with episode number 2 of Danmachi season 3. Okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay so here's the countdown. three. Two, one, go. <coughs> Beaver. Deeks. <laughs> okay. Oh, so these guys are like <coughs> monster traffickers. Oh no, well, wow this like thing uh, reminds me of uh, shield hero like Raftalia when he was, she was being captured. Okay, so this is a god? Oh, my god he looks like a... Uh, he looks a lot like Subaru, what the hell? Like the track suit. <laughs> Weird name. <laughs> okay. Oh great, the opening. I love this opening. Okay, so uh, that guy is the god, uh, Ikelos. 
He looks a lot like an adventure, not like a god. Like, <coughs> like tracksuit wearing god. <laughs> Well, one thing uh, like we can be sure is like uh, like Bell's friends, for example, um, Lily, uh, Hestia, uh, all of them, Welf and uh, <coughs> Yama, uh, Mikoto. They will always be like I think uh, like in Bell's team. Like they won't go against him. But from the opening, I can guess that Ains is going to be against him. So like this will be like more like uh, surpassing uh, Bell's like uh, admired person like Bell admires Ainz so much and yeah like this like this will make a conflict between them them two and Ben like will get an opportunity to surpass her. I'm looking really looking forward to what like goes on and what happens and how this is like resolved. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm, yeah, we can probably ask um do you for help? Can we? I don't know. Is it are they asking? Yeah, yeah. I thought so. Like she's the only one. Oh, I said here. Damn. <laughs> you was like, um, what's happening here? <laughs> oh, I think. Oh, Aisha is going. Okay. <laughs> oh <laughs> oh my god this girl <coughs> <laughs> well saw this coming <laughs> And Lily is like, like. <laughs> My God. Okay. came here for one but got two
I forgot, uh, wasn't Ryu level 3 as well? So like, Bell is level 3 or, or Ryu is a lot more stronger, I forgot. Oh. Damn, Ryu like uses a wooden sword. And that's just enough. Oh, Lolamia. Oh boy. Oh no. I think this monster reminds Bell a lot of Vienna, so. Yeah, I think she he's been reminded of Venus, so <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Colossal tree labyrinth. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. In the first place, what was Bell doing here? Like dungeon delving, normal. Oh, wait. Who is that? Oh, it's, it's coming it's this way. Wait, it's a monster. Fells, oh, wait. So, so he, like this person is one of the oh, this is a harpy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a harpy. Damn. <laughs> okay. Wait, why are they so surprised? Like, they have like been fighting monsters for so long. Uh, like, uh... Are they surprised of the fact that they can like think properly, these monsters? And here we go. Yeah, oh my god, they're going to suspect him. Whatever, dicks. Hmm. 
They kind of got a lead, but this guy Damn, his eyes! What the hell? Oh, Hermes is here. Thank God. <laughs> and here we go. Yeah, they kind of had something. Yeah, yeah. This thing. Villas. Damn, this god, like... <coughs> oh, yeah, obviously, it's my children's fault. Yeah, what can I do? Yeah, I'm the victim here. <coughs> yes. Weird sense of fun you have. Hmm, well. Hmm. Yeah, gods are like, uh, what can I say, this type of neutral type of beings. Like obviously there are good gods like Hestia and all. They're like, they're playing hide and seek at night? They have a big house now, like... Maintenance must suck. Oh boy. What? Oh yeah, okay, so like they were more surprised at the talking monsters, okay.
Well, <laughs> well, Lily is more of a realist, so. Oh no, it's this Lena? Yeah, she Oh no. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Well, this is bad. Oh no, this is bad. Oh boy, well... <laughs> oh no. Well, at least like the commotion will like bring Bell and everyone here. Oh no. What? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, like this is a problem here. Yeah. Oh, okay, so this person is their friend. Okay, thank God, like they are not like exposed. Wait, that was Lily? Oh yeah, I was thinking like in the previous episode, I also thought that was Lily. But later on, I kind of like thought that maybe not like it was someone else okay so that was easy damn Oh boy. I should probably like watch a more little bit more before coming to a conclusion. <clears throat> oh, it's the end. Okay, we have not heard the ending. Let's see. I can see a few new characters, I think. Oh, 
Oh, we'll get to see people from the Ganesha family. Wow, a lot of new characters. Freya and the others. Okay, it's a good ending song. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, that was a good ending song. Okay, is this the end? Yes. Alright, so this was episode number 2 of Danmachi season 3. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this episode. Um, first of all, uh, like as I was saying, like this is more like uh, in like shows like this, which is like more towards a fantastical uh, like theme. Uh, we usually like see monsters and humans, adventures and everything. And uh, <coughs> like there is like uh, what can i say no discrimination between uh, like uh, monsters who can talk and monsters that cannot talk or like mindless monsters like uh, in a lot of shows i've seen uh, like in anime itself uh, like people like uh, go against these monsters but uh, like monsters who can talk like uh, they are not what can i say as uh, what can i say in this show i can see like there is uh, extreme discrimination like uh, amongst those monsters like in a lot of animes i've seen like people are hostile towards monsters who like kill people but there are also like another type of monster which are like intelligent they can talk and they can understand things and there are like uh, they kind of like live together with the uh, like other people as well and i was kind of like before season three i never like uh, thought about this like uh, i never even knew that uh, there is like this type of discrimination between these type of monsters i knew that they were like uh, hostile towards monsters they like uh, like killed monsters for the loot and everything but i never knew like there was uh, this type of thing uh, like i thought that maybe like if there was like some kind of monster who were like uh, like intelligent they probably probably like what can i say uh, and allied with them they were probably like uh, make friends with them or like not be hostile towards them unnecessarily but like this is obviously not the case because people have not seen any type of like intelligent monsters and uh, like uh, thinking about it like yeah in Danmachi we never even saw like any type of like monster who can understand human words or like think so I never like thought about this before so now that I'm uh, like noticing it so like people are that is the reason why like people are unable to like <clears throat> I mean people are not unable but people won't even believe other people if even if someone says that no this monster is like intelligent he can he or she can understand whatever we are saying and they are good they wouldn't even believe it and they will like be hostile uh, from the get go so yeah so this is the main problem here now like uh, like obviously because of this reason like uh, monsters who are intelligent who can understand people and who has like who can do things properly and has like a, like think about things properly they like are un even um, unable to like go in front of these people because like people won't listen to them just they will like uh, like in this episode they will like start stoning them and like adventurers will come and try to kill them so this is the main problem and i think like or the thing that oranos is trying to do is like he's trying to what can i say experiment what will happen uh, if uh, like situation like this arises and like he thinks that uh, most probably bell and his team hestia family uh, his family his team family would be able to like make a stop to this kind of <coughs> what can i say uh, discrimination and like it is kind of wrong to call this discrimination because in this case uh, the people like have uh, like like they can't do anything 
like uh, like for them monsters are people who sh uh, things which should be killed in the previous episode i also said that but uh, tr like in this is like attack on titan like uh, in attack on titan if you suddenly say like uh, yeah this titan is our friend people won't believe you like uh, that is what happened with Eren when he like titan uh, like uh, when he became a titan for the first time people were like uh, afraid of him decided to like kill him like this is the same here like people won't even believe them at all like if someone comes and says like yeah this monster is my friend he will probably also get killed alongside the monster so like oranos is i think trying to like m see like if they are able to bring that change in this world and <clears throat> like in season one i kind of thought like i had like some kind of what can i say a suspicion whether if oranos is good or bad like he like his character design is quite shady I'll, i'm not gonna lie but obviously i can see like from season two and season three uh, and uh, like until now and like i've played um <coughs> memory of reason from that also like i can I kind of understand that oranos is more or like a neutral person like he is someone who is what can i say like he's kind of like one of the leaders and so he's more at a neutral stance and he will like try different things obviously he wants the good of everyone good of like the gods good for the humankind so like uh, he is like more or less uh, what can i say <coughs> in a neutral position and kind of like looks and like uh, what can i say um, tries not to interfere with everyone and wants the other people the humans and uh, the gods who are living with the humans to sort stuff out themselves and uh, yeah and also uh, like uh, I, I was kind of like uh, like thinking about it um there are like no what can i say bad characters in uh, danmachi like evil characters like obviously like uh, uh, apollo was kind of like a, a crazy madman type of character and uh, um like ishtar was also kind of bad in that sense but like uh, like complete evil i i don't think there are like complete evil type of characters in this show uh, we have not seen any uh, as far as i can remember so like all of these like gods have each and like uh, their like um, uh, own circumstances and all uh, oh and ikalos yeah uh, i don't know like uh, i'm not sure like uh, harmus kind of said that you were from that kind of like an evil uh, faction or something so uh, i'm guessing like ikalos uh, I don't know like uh, he is pretty shady uh, in, in my what can I say as far as I've seen but looks can be deceiving so I'm not going to say anything uh, we'll probably like wait for things to unfold unfold and then like we'll probably get to see what his real intentions are like he can be someone who is like doing this just for fun like that like that type of uh, a god who is like does mischief and wants to see what uh, like uh, other people does and finds fun in that so he might be that type of character so i'm not going to like base my uh, opinions on him based on his appearance and his like way of what can i say <coughs> way how he like behaves so yeah and uh, <coughs> obviously like Ikel the ikolos family is like doing like monster trafficking i think and i'm guessing like the the people who are like uh, buying these monsters illegally uh, they kind of like use them for uh, what can i say experimentation or something obviously but uh, because like the, the monsters here are like mindless type of killing machines so what else use is for them people who are like buying them obviously uh, experimentation or something else and uh, <clears throat> and i'm guessing like they were kind of uh, like i think like the weaver there as they were saying uh, are like some kind of uh, rare type of monster so uh, a powerful type of monster so they are like what can i say uh, trying to find uh, that weaver also like uh, this weaver talks like winner talks so like uh, i think that is also like kind of one of the reasons why they're like looking for them for uh, winner so much because they'll get good money for her and uh, yeah like uh, the thing that has to be done here is like change the all of the people's what can i say stance on this like monster bad kill monster this type of uh, what can i say uh, thought process like uh, uh, they have to like first of all discriminate start discriminating between the monsters who are like who uh, who need to be killed for example who are like what can i say mindless type of beings who just attack on sight 
them and monsters who are able to think and uh, who are rational and they need to like discriminate between them uh, learn how to discriminate between them and then like uh, treat them as they deserve because obviously uh, like uh, like uh, like we need uh, we and the other monsters who are able to think properly and who has intelligence does not like deserve this and uh, i'm guessing like this is the thing that oranos also wants and he's trying to like see what happens what how the people react to this so yeah and uh, and also another thing is like uh, i know like here is the thing uh, in this episode we saw like lily saying something and and i know like there will be some people who would be mad at this and kind of say like yeah lily uh, like how can she say that uh, like she is also one of the people who has who had previously betrayed bell so how can she be like that and there will be people like that and i'm going to say like there is a big difference between that lily here is a realist like she looks at the situation from what can i say uh like he does not she does not in, involve her, her emotions and stuff so like obviously like she was treated extremely badly so a person who has been like abused from her childhood and who has who has like uh, been uh, worked as a slave beaten uh, and abused she, obviously her mindset would be like uh, would grow up like that she will become a realist and she will like always try to think about the negative of stuff before the positive and because uh, of the reason like she, the reason uh, is also because like she adores the history of familia and bell as well so obviously like she will try to like think about the disadvantages and the problems they're going to face before looking at the uh, what can i say uh, hopeful or emotional uh, <coughs> aspect of the thing so like bell here is a complete uh, what can i say uh, uh, emotional type of person like he judges people and everything through his emotions and uh, I, I don't think that is uh, bad obviously uh, this is a thing that a hero needs a hero needs to have emotions obviously otherwise like uh, like uh, I, I don't think i've seen a hero who is uh, what can i say uh, who thinks uh, logically, uh, like extreme logically, and who like does not do anything emotionally. Like heroes have this thing, and Bell is like one of them. So Bell, obviously, because of his goodness of his heart and everything, he looks at things emotionally and tries to like find the good in each and everything. And that is what makes him, uh, what can I say, a good character. And uh, at, like at the same time, at contrast to Bell, uh, Lily is someone who has been saved by Bell. And who has been saved by that emotional kind of thing that Belle has. So obviously she would like try to uh, like do things which are the which is the best for Belle and his familia. So she's looking at the what can I say bad uh, like bad uh, uh, aspect of the whole situation. Like she's thinking like what will happen to the familia now. Uh, like um, uh, like uh, on the first hand like the Hestia family is extremely small. Like they like don't have any power uh, like uh, compared to the other big familias so uh, like on top of that if, if like people start discriminating between Hestia family and like shun them and like uh, like do stuff like that uh, then it will be a big problem so I think like uh, Lily uh, there is a reason why like Lily kind of did that and uh, uh, I'm guessing like like uh, obviously like this is lily lily will say stuff like that because she himself had been betrayed and had like seen the bad of things so she'll try to do that so this is nothing on uh, what can i say uh like uh, i like uh, no one can blame lily for this and uh, <clears throat> okay what else okay and we also like saw um what kind of uh, that harpy i think that was the harpy most probably obviously because of the uh, feathers and stuff and uh, the little like the hair color kind of like peeked out of her uh, hood so i'm guessing like we'll get to see more of them and uh, so like now the question is if these type of uh, monsters existed who can think where were they up until now like it has been a long time uh, like since the whole existence of these uh, like uh, what can i say 
like the monsters and adventurous things like uh, bell is like what can i say a person from this generation there have been a lot of previous generations as well so i'm thinking like like is this like the first time like these type of uh, monsters are coming out that is like intelligent monsters or like they have been existing from a long time before and like uh, the thing is coming into light just now so yeah that is one thing to think as well so yeah okay so that was uh, yeah this episode was a lot what can i say uh paced properly like I, I was thinking like the first episode was extremely fast paced but i think like in from this episode it is a lot what can i say uh like the pace has been normal and uh like yeah i enjoyed this episode a lot more than the first episode like the first episode everything was happening so quickly i was kind of overwhelmed so like uh, the pace is a lot better now and i'm uh, like uh, if they like keep this pace and uh, like uh, what can i say uh do the other episodes as well uh i'm i'm thinking like this will probably be like uh a lot better than season 2 and season 1 was amazing but season 2 had one of the problems as i said before fast pacing it was extremely fast paced like things happened so quickly that a lot of people were kind of angry at that and uh i'm not blaming them like obviously like uh, definitely so season 2 was definitely a lot more fast paced and i'm hoping that they keep uh like they keep the pacing normal just like this episode like this episode i had a pleasant time and nothing was uh, extremely fast paced or extremely slow paced it was normal and i enjoyed that a lot so yeah so i'm uh, like hoping that they will take their time and adapt the episodes because danmachi has uh, is one of the what can i say um animes which has a lot of potential and i really hope that it can succeed so that we get more seasons in the future so yeah so that was this episode and that was an enjoyable episode i liked it a lot and as i said before because of the pacing uh, like the pacing normalized a lot i enjoyed this episode a lot more than first episode so yeah guys that was episode number 2 of dan machi season 3 If you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down below anything you want to share anything you want to say about this episode or the anime in itself be sure to comment i'll be sure to check them out and uh, so yes i'll be back with a new danmachi season 3 episode next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day